always, Alex here from wpeagle.com. Thanks for stopping by. This video is for beginners. It's a tutorial video and we're basically gonna go through what WordPress is and how to get it installed and up and running. Um, and I'm gonna try and do that as quickly as possible. So let's get going. Okay, so WordPress is a free piece of open source software. What that means is that it's developed by many, many, many people around the world and everyone contributes to make WordPress better. And they do that in order to then offer services and things on top of it. So it's become a really powerful platform and it's not just for blogging, you can run fully functioning websites on it, including e-commerce if you like. So it's, uh, it's highly recommended. It's used by around 25% of all the websites on the internet, including some big ones. Uh, like Jay-Z's website and Katy Perry's website and a whole host of others. And you can get a full list of um, people that are using WordPress uh, from the wordpress.org website. So what do you need uh, in order to run WordPress? Well, it's pretty straightforward. You need a domain name. Now a domain name is a .com or a .co.uk or a .net or, or whatever nowadays, there's so many dots. Um, so you need that domain name and you can register that with uh, a domain registrar or a hosting company. And speaking of hosting, that's the second thing you're gonna need is some hosting. And hosting is basically uh, provided to you by a hosting company. And it allows you to then install WordPress onto a server that's on the internet and obviously allows people to then access it via the web. So without much more chit chat from me, what we'll do is we'll get onto the computer and we'll set up a WordPress website. We'll set up some hosting with a UK based hosting company that I highly recommend called TSO Host. And I've got a discount code for you on there as well. And we'll install WordPress and you know get it up and running hopefully within about 10, 15, 20 minutes max. Um, and then you'll be ready to go off and start building a fantastic website. Now this video is just a start. And obviously once you finish this video, I've got plenty more on my channel about you know taking it to the next step in terms of adding themes and images and you know just styling it and making it your own. So let's go on the computer and get that WordPress set up. Okay, so I'm over at TSO Host, who I mentioned are my favorite hosting provider here in the UK. What we're gonna do is set up some hosting for our WordPress website, and if need be, we can also register a domain name. Now, if you've already got a domain name, maybe you've already registered yourself a .com or a .co.uk or you know whatever you've got, what you need to do if you're gonna go with TSO Host is update your name servers, and you'll find out how to do that by going to your registrar and logging in and there should be something in there to do with DNS or name servers. And what you wanna do is update them to ns1.tsohost.co.uk and ns2.tsohost.co.uk, which I'll put up on the screen now. And then once you've done that, you're now ready to go and buy your hosting. If you haven't already got a domain name, uh, don't worry, we can register one now while we um, buy the hosting. So let's get started. So you need to head over to tsohost.com and I'll put a, a card up on the video now so you can just click through if you don't want to type that in. And then you need to go over to hosting and select the cloud web hosting, which is the best hosting they offer. Now, if we click on view plans and pricing, we can see that there's a number of different packages available. And obviously this depends on how busy you think or feel your website is going to be. Now I often recommend the professional package, uh, which is the third one here, which is only four ninety nine a month. You know, it's not a huge amount of money, but for that you do get your free domain name, so it's perfect for those people that don't already have a domain name. If you think that's going to be maybe too big, just go for the standard one, uh, which again allows you to have up to four websites and loads of mailboxes and got plenty of bandwidth and storage. So once you decided which one you want, um, I'll pick the professional. I would suggest that you go for um, an annual deal. So um, either the one year or the two year, basically because it's much better value. Um, so if we select like the one year, it's just 49.99 for the whole year paid up, uh, all done, don't need to worry about it. If we click buy now, it adds it over to our cart, uh, which just popped up there on the right hand side. And you'll find it up here at the top as well. So we can click on the cart and see that it's in there. So let's go, um, to uh, the checkout, but before we do that, what we'll do is we can type in a promotional code, uh, which is very easy to remember, it's just WP Eagle. And if you click redeem, that will give you 10% uh, off, which is great, that's a five pounds on this particular um, deal. And it's also a way of just kind of saying thank you to me. Um, I will be open and say that I earn a very small commission if you use that code, so yeah, I'm most grateful. It's a win-win for both of us. 
Okay, so we're now able to also obviously register our domain name. You see this message that's popped up here. It says don't miss out on your obviously on your free domain name. So if we click here, obviously if you've got a domain name, you can just uh, skip this bit here. And then we would type in um, the domain name that we were looking for. So you simply start typing into this box to find your domain name. Uh, now I don't actually need a domain name right now, so I'm not gonna do a step, but if you do this, find the domain name that you want, and then obviously you can add it to your cart as well, and that will be uh, included for free. So let's go back to my cart. Um, so obviously if you've got a domain name, you don't need to worry about that bit. You can just go through the checkout as usual. So you're gonna to need to create an account if you're not already a TSO host customer. So click on the create account and here you can start typing in um, all your details. So um, let me just fill out this form very quickly and I'll blur it out because it's obviously got confidential information in it and you know, you use security question, etc., and set a password. and then click register. Okay, so that's set up and then we can go to the checkout and you need to enter your payment details and click confirm and place order. Now once you've done that, you'll get some emails from TSO host with all your kind of hosting information and in there will be um, some login information um, so that you can access obviously your hosting and the control panel that comes with it. So once you've got that email, um, you need to go and log in and that's where we're gonna go now in the next part of the video. Okay, so I'm logged into my cloud dashboard. Hopefully you are too. Um, I will stress that if you have just registered a new domain name or just updated the, the uh, DNS name servers on your existing domain name, there may be a slight delay before you can um, start using your website. And that can be up to 24, 48 hours. But hopefully it's been quicker than that and everything is uh, working as it should. So I'm logged into the uh, the cloud dashboard from TSO host and uh, which you can do obviously with the details that you've received via email. And once we're in here, we need to add the new website and with uh, many of the packages, as I previously mentioned, you can have more than one website. So um, you'd obviously do this for each one of the websites that you wanna create. So we click on the add a new website button and this is where you enter your domain name. So obviously you're gonna enter the domain name that you've just registered or the domain name that you already had. The one I'm using for this demo is called iosalex.com, which is gonna be a new website, hopefully in the future, with videos all about iOS and iPhones and all that kind of stuff, but we'll see. But for now, let's just get WordPress installed. So the next option is to decide whether you want a Linux or parking page or any of that kind of stuff. You don't need to select that, just leave it on Linux, the recommended option, and click Create New Site. And it's gonna go away and set that up for you. Now during this video, I think I'm gonna to have to do a few edits because some of these things take a few minutes and I don't wanna waste your time. So I think this is gonna be one of those occasions. So let's do an edit. Okay, so that's uh, done what it needed to do. It took a few minutes, so good job we had that edit. And hopefully you now see a screen very similar to this. The next step is to actually install the WordPress software. And thankfully with TSO Host, you don't have to go off and download it from wordpress.org and then you know do a whole manual kind of install. You can simply come down to this button down the bottom called uh, Install Applications, give that a click, and the first uh, piece of software that you'll see is WordPress. And all we need to do is click Install, leave the install in path as it is, as just a slash, and click Install, and it's gonna go off and install WordPress for us. And again, this is gonna take a few minutes, so let's do some video editing. Okay, that took a couple of minutes, um, but it's all done now, and our WordPress is installed, and we can go and log in, which is exciting. So to log in, I can just simply click this button here, but before I do that, I need to just make a note of this username. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight it and copy it into my uh, clipboard. You can see that the password is new install, like I remember that, and I'm gonna go and click log in. What it does is it drops down, it shows you where that, um, login page is, so it's obviously gonna be your domain slash WP admin, and an easy way to get there is just to click that link. Brings up the WordPress login screen, I'm gonna paste that username that it generated, and I'm gonna enter the password. Now obviously we need to change these as soon as we log in because uh, it's not a particularly secure password, so uh, a good way is to do that straight off. 
Now, when you log in, you're greeted with this screen, which is to do with Clef. I'm not gonna go through setting that up right now, but basically what that allows you to do is log in with your mobile phone if you, uh, if you really want to do that. Uh, but for now, we won't worry just about that. What we are gonna do, though, as I say, is change the password and whatnot on the default user. So there's the default user that it created. And what I'm gonna do is create my own user, because I find it easier to remember than G4ZJB or whatever that was. So here you can type in your username, and this is gonna be the login that you're gonna use in the future. You can type your email address in, obviously your name, you don't have to fill in the website really and all that stuff. Set yourself a password. And make sure that you set it as an administrator. Click add new user. And we've got the two users. And what I'm actually gonna do is delete this default user. I think, you know, from a security point of view, that is a good thing to do. So in order to do that, I obviously can't delete myself while I'm logged in, I need to log out. And then I'm gonna log in as that new user that I just created. So I suggest you do the same. Hopefully you can remember the password that you just set. And click remember me, so I don't have to worry about it in the future. And I'm now logged in with that new user and I can go into the users area and just delete that default one by clicking on the delete. I'm gonna attribute all content to me. Not that there is any content because it's a brand new website. Okay, so this is the back of WordPress, but let's have a look at what it looks like on the front. When I say the back, that's kind of the admin area, the bit where you do your kind of bits and bobs and all your work, and then the front is obviously the bit that people see the actual real website. And here we go, WordPress is installed, it's got the default blogging theme uh, up and running, and it's now ready to customize. There's a few things you're gonna wanna do. We just go back into the dashboard, and the easy way to do that is just to go up to where your name is and click um, the dashboard. We're gonna to need to just set the site name, and to do that you go into settings and general, and at the moment it's called my blog, I'm gonna call it uh, iOS Alex, and then a tagline all about iOS things. And also make sure that you set the email address here as well to something that you use, so I'm just gonna set it to my WP Eagle one. And you can also set your site language to make sure that it's uh, correct for you. So if you're in the UK like me, it'd be English UK. Let's click Save Changes. And we're done. Now the first thing you're probably gonna want to do is um, change the look and feel of the website. And a good way to do that is to go into Appearance and then go to Themes. You can see there's uh, they're the kind of basic WordPress ones you might like. Uh, one of them, but they are pretty basic. But if you click Add New, there is a whole theme library here full of free themes um, that you can then choose and install and play around with as you like. So have a good look through, see if you see anything that you fancy. If you don't, I would recommend uh, going for a premium theme. And now a premium theme is obviously, as the name suggests, one that you have to pay a little bit of money for, but normally no more than 50 or $60. And with a premium theme, you obviously get a lot more functionality and you get better support if things go wrong. One of my favorite places for themes is a website called Theme Forest, and I'll put a link up again on the screen right now so you can go over to take a look. And this is full of loads and loads of WordPress themes. If you go to WordPress, you'll see they start coming up. And as I said, they're around $50, $60. Um, but they're a bit more interesting, a bit more exciting than the free themes, and you get the benefit that you know you get support and you get updates and, and all that kind of thing. Okay, hopefully that video has been useful and you've got WordPress installed on your hosting. Uh, if you need any help, TSO Host offer some excellent support, so do send them a message if you get stuck with setting up your hosting. If you'd like help with your WordPress or you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them below. I do aim to try and reply to all the messages that I get. And you can also send me a tweet at WordPress Eagle. For more videos, obviously do check out my channel and do check out the WordPress basics uh, playlist that I've got set up uh, following this video. So um, yeah, I'll put a link up for that um, yeah, somewhere. And yeah, check out the rest of my videos on you know getting the most out of WordPress. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more. I will see you soon. Bye for now.